In this episode, we will explore the life and legend of King Arthur of Camelot. Known for his noble leadership and mythical tales, King Arthur has captivated the imaginations of people for centuries. King Arthur is a legendary king of Britain and a central figure in the medieval literary tradition known as the Matter of Britain. In Welsh sources, Arthur is portrayed as a leader of the post-Roman Britons. In battles against Anglo-Saxon invaders of Britain in the late 5th and early 6th centuries, he first appears into early medieval historical sources, the Annals Cambriae and the Historia Britannum but these date to 300 years after he is supposed to have lived, and most historians who studied the period do not consider him a historical figure. His name also occurs in early Welch poetic sources, such as Wygodon. Wygodon is a medieval Welch poem, consisting of a series of elegies to the men of the Britannic kingdom of Godaden and its allies. According to the conventional interpretation, died fighting the Angles of Dara and Bernicia at a place named Catraith in about AD 600. The character developed through Welch mythology, appearing either as a great warrior defending Britain from human and supernatural enemies, or as a magical figure of folklore sometimes associated with the Welch Otherworld and The legendary Arthur developed as a figure of international interest largely through the popularity of Geoffrey of Monmouth's fanciful and imaginative 12th century Historia Regum Britannia history of the kings of Britain. Geoffrey depicted Arthur as a king of Britain, who defeated the Saxons and established a vast empire. Many elements and incidents that are now an integral part of the Arthurian story appear in Geoffrey's Historia, including Arthur's father Uther Pendragon, the magician Merlin, Arthur's wife Guinevere, the sword Excalibur, Arthur's conception at Tintagel, his final battle against Mordred at Camlin, and final rest in Avalon. According to legend, King Arthur was destined to become the true king of Britain. With the guidance of the wise wizard Merlin, Arthur pulled the sword Excalibur from the stone, solidifying his claim to the throne. As king, Arthur established the legendary Round Table, a symbol of equality and unity among his knights. Together, they embarked on heroic quests and upheld the code of chivalry. King Arthur's court at Camelot became a beacon of hope and prosperity where justice prevailed and the virtues of honor, loyalty, and courage were celebrated. The stories of King Arthur's knights such as Sir Lancelot, Sir Gawain, and Sir Galahad have become synonymous with bravery and knightly virtue. Yet, King Arthur's reign was not without challenges. His greatest foe, Mordred, fueled a conflict that ultimately led to the downfall of Camelot and the king himself. Legends say that King Arthur was mortally wounded in the battle and his body was taken to the mystical Isle of Avalon, where he would rest until the day of his return. Join us next time, as we continue to unravel the captivating stories of historical figures. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest episodes. Until then, keep exploring the wonders of history.